Hey, what's up everyone? It's Leo here again, and as you guys might have noticed, I'm not an English speaker. I'm from Brazil, but I'll try my best though to make another video on Rainbow Six Siege. Today's video is a little bit different. I will talk about the operator reality versus video game. We know the characters do not exist. They are not real people. However, do they look like the real CTU at least? I did a deep research on Google, and let's figure it out right now. These are the elite German operators. Let's start with the GSG-9, the German CTU. This first picture gives us an idea that Ubisoft did a great job. This one even more. The uniforms look realistic. These three soldiers, pay attention. I think they were inspiration to make two operators. Jaeger on the left and Bandit on the right. What about these guys with the shield? Easy, huh? Blitz for sure. And the Germans wear jeans pants and normal t-shirts, it's okay. Do you want another example? What about this female? If you said, I kill, you are right. These are the elite French operators. I got impressed with the GIGN. They look perfect, exactly as in the real life. Pay attention to the helmets. Damn, identical. What about this guy? He doesn't have a white gloves, but reminded me, Doc. The first and the third guy in this line are pretty much the defenders. Montaigne with the shield and Rook wearing heavy armor. And if we take off this helmet, we have Twitch. <laughs> It's scary, isn't it? We do the best for the Army, Navy and Air Force. Only a handful make it through training. To make the regiment you need strength, skill and determination. But more than anything, you need character. The British SAS CTU uses the gas mask, but the operators are not too real though. It was hard to find pictures like this that suggested me Sledge. This next one is almost the same, but the soldier doesn't have a helmet on, so it looks like smoke. I honestly don't know if this really weird guy go to combat dressed like this. If he does, nice to meet you, Thatcher. Mute though, I haven't found anything any closer. British soldiers from World War II were the closest I found for Mute. These are the elite American operators. SWAT and FBI were easy to find. The American CDU is the most famous in the world. Who this black guy does look like? Piece of cake, right? Huh. It's Castle without a helmet. What about this bald guy wearing sunglasses? Yeah, he looks like Pulse indeed. Finally someone with a helmet and trying to breach a door. Yeah, this is a thermite's job. And there are plenty of beautiful female officers in the American police. The one on the left looks exactly as Ash. By the way, does she have a boyfriend? The Russian CTU is well represented. The soldiers have indeed this heavy camel uniform. Maybe because it's super cold in Russia, or maybe because they are badasses. Like Fuse, with this huge gun on the right. Well, this guy doesn't hold a sniper rifle, but imagine if he would. Wouldn't you say it looks like glass? And I really didn't expect to find this kind of armor, it's sick. When I first saw Tachanka, I thought the developers were crazy, but Tashanka is real. By the other hand, I haven't seen a soldier that looks like Capcan. During the World War II, Russians had this hat. This paramilitary on top picture fought on Chechenia war, so it was the closest I found to Capcan. Well, if you guys like this video, let me know that I can do another one when the all the DLC CTU come out. Don't forget to subscribe at the channel. There is much more coming up.
Catch you later and bye amigos.